Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with another Build Your Own Lightsaber video. Today we're going to be looking at Darth Maul's lightsaber. Now I don't actually have the full one here, but the last time when I was at Disneyland, I did take a minute and I decided to build the whole thing. Now if you're not familiar with the Build Your Own Lightsaber sets, currently they're only available at Disneyland, at Star Traders just outside of the Star Tours attraction, and in Disney Springs at Walt Disney World. Now what it is, is it is a Star Wars themed station where you can build your own lightsaber using different pieces based off of other Jedi's existing lightsabers. So what they have you do is you pick a blade, and then you move on to an emitter, there are different buttons and rings you can put on there, and finally you cap it off. Now the cool thing is, is you can mix and match, you can make all kinds of different combinations or you can replicate specific lightsabers. Today we're going to be replicating Darth Maul's lightsaber. Sometimes you guys ask me how much are the lightsabers. I like to give a range of prices and not the current exact prices because I know a year from now they're going to go up a little bit. So I like to say prepare, if you're going to get a single lightsaber, prepare to spend about $20 to $25. If you want to get a deluxe lightsaber like the Kylo Ren one with the little cross guard, this little piece alone raises the price another four to five dollars. Uh, there's also the option of doing a double lightsaber, which is very similar to this, but minus the deluxe piece, and that is going to raise the cost even more. And then if you want to go to a double deluxe, which would be two lightsabers, which is this little middle piece here, is what you're paying for, as well as two of these cross guards, that's going to cost you upwards of fifty dollars. So. Just be ready. And this is, of course, after tax. Again, it's an estimate. These prices do fluctuate and they do change over time. All right, now that you guys know what the Build Your Own Lightsaber set is, let's talk about Darth Maul's lightsaber. Now, when Episode 1 came out, Darth Maul was the new big bad guy, the first new villain we'd seen since Darth Vader and since the Emperor was destroyed. This was a huge, huge deal. There's a brand new Sith. He's got his face painted all crazy, he's got horns and he's got a double-bladed lightsaber. At the time, when the movie came out, this was unheard of. The only lightsabers we knew of back then were just single-bladed, regular, just like a sword, like a regular sword. When they introduced the double-bladed lightsaber, I remember personally, my mind was blown. I had no idea that they were gonna be able to, like, why would they ever come up with crazy, weird configurations for lightsabers? It was a perfect system, but it just, it got all of our imaginations going, and here we are years later, we have toys and sets like Blade Builders. I mean, just think about last year, The Force Awakens came out, and we have Kylo Ren with two little cross guard baby lightsabers going across the top. We can build stuff like this using the Blade Builders set. I mean, and that's, that's basic. That is basic. I mean, you can get crazy. You can look at this, it's like a Z formation lightsaber. It, it, like, why? Why, this stuff is crazy. Look at this one. I made this one just before I started the video. Look at it. It's not even like a traditional shape. It's like an L-shaped lightsaber. <laughs> and now in 2016, we've got lightsabers that have guns on them. Guns, I tell you. Guns. This is this is nuts. Like this is craziness. And it all started with Darth Maul's double-bladed lightsaber. I think that if it weren't for that happening, if that didn't happen in that first place, and they never really branched off from there, we would never see like any of this crazy stuff that's out now. This is the lightsaber that made them all start getting ridiculous and crazy. I mean, we have like these Tonfa lightsabers you can hold like this, you can kind of wield it this way. There's curved lightsabers. We saw Count Dooku, who has like a cane style lightsaber. There are just so many like cool things that lightsabers have now is possibilities of what they can become thanks to Darth Maul's lightsaber. All right, enough of me rambling. Let's get to the building of Mr. Maul's saber. Okay, so first thing we're gonna start off with is gonna be a red blade. We're gonna attach it to this specific emitter. Look at this. It is a very specific emitter. And that screws on right at the top. Next, our piece is gonna be this long gray piece. And notice there's a red and a gray button. The red button goes towards the top and you're gonna slide that all the way up. If you put it on the other way, it doesn't kind of match. But okay, so we're gonna do that. The next piece is gonna be a button cover. And notice it's got these ribs on it. You want the ribs facing up. Otherwise, that button will not match. Uh, it won't cover correctly. The last piece we're gonna put on here is going to be the splitter. Now, this is a gray splitter, a little different from the black one I showed you guys a little earlier. Now, once you get that screwed on, 
Now you want to go to your other lightsaber. You have to make two of these, and they actually just connect. Check this out. If you use that double piece, it connects just like this. It snaps right into place. And you have a full-length replica of Darth Maul's lightsaber. Check that out. Two buttons, so both sides light up, which is something previous ones did not do. But check it out. They both light up. You can twist it. This thing's huge. And you push a little button, and it comes apart into two pieces. Guys, I love this lightsaber. This lightsaber is, like, one of the coolest. Now, this isn't it. I, I decided not to buy that one that I made. In fact, I have one that's as close as I can get with the pieces I have to the Darth Maul. But I like to put it with the double... And again, this is that gray piece. This is that splitter piece. There's a little button you push, and they come right apart. Or you can snap them back into place, and you have a double lightsaber. That's what you pay the extra money for, is that exclusive piece. But I've got one side Kylo Ren themed. One side Darth Maul themed. I, I think it's pretty cool. Guys, I want to know in the comments below, what was I watching back there? And whose lightsaber is your favorite? I really like Darth Maul's lightsaber. And the fact that he's back now in Star Wars Rebels, I want to see them make a toy of the new Darth Maul lightsaber. His lightsaber's changed. It's no longer the double. It's now a single, but it looks cool. So, either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love having you here. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down in the comments below whose lightsaber you'd like to see next. Check down there. There's a playlist of other ones that I've already done. I might have already built that lightsaber. But until next time, may the Force have with you, and goodbye forever.